Hi, my name is Marin, and I have with me my Fit Nation Premium Resistance Loop Bands, and I'm gonna show you some really awesome lower body movements to get started with these bands. First of all, these loop bands come in this awesome little bag, and I gotta tell you, I really like this bag. It's of premium quality, as the title says, premium. But I've gotten a lot of these loop bands, and most of them, they come in these plasticky bags, so I really appreciate a hearty bag like this one. With your Fit Nation Resistance Loop Bands, you're gonna get four different colors. Each color is gonna symbolize a, a size or a weight of resistance. So you've got light, medium, heavy, and extra heavy. To start off, if you haven't used resistance loop bands, I recommend starting off with a light or the medium, depending on your level of fitness. Start there, see how you feel about it. If you need more resistance or you wanna do a heavier weight per se, then you can move up in loop bands. So let's go ahead and start with the light. So we're gonna start with some side step squats. The resistance loop bands provide a full dynamic that weights and other equipment won't ever provide you. You've got all this diversity based on isometric movements as well as actual movements that you do in the gym without just the resistance of gravity pulling down. You get resistance throughout the whole movement. They're also lightweight and easy to travel with. As you can see, they fit in that nice little bag and you can just put them in your pocket and take them anywhere you wanna go. So they're really one of my favorite pieces of equipment that you can use for resistance and strength training. So one of the places that we're gonna put this on is right around our, uh, our thighs above our knees. So we're gonna make sure this band is nice and flat when we put it on there. Make sure that it feels comfortable, no pinching or sharp pains. And from here, I'm just gonna start at the side of my mat here, or maybe the center. So you can go side to side, but from here we're gonna keep our feet about shoulder width apart to maintain that resistance. And then we're gonna take a little side step you're gonna feel that resistance come together again about shoulder width apart and a nice squat. So in order to perform this squat, you really wanna make sure that you have a nice upright position, straight back, your gaze is forward. We're gonna push those hips back while we bend them and bend at the knees, keeping that chest upright. And you're gonna, you're gonna look slightly downwards at the ground right in front of you, but you're really pushing those hips back so that there's a 90 degree angle here forming at both of your knees. And with a nice exhale, you're gonna stand up, squeeze that core, squeeze those glutes, move those hips forward, extend those legs, nice upright position still, straight gaze forward, and that's your squat. So we're gonna be doing these squats. You can feel free to put your hands in front of you, out if you feel like you need a counterbalance, or on your hips, on the back of your head for a more advanced movement. So we're gonna do this nice little squat. <sighs> Exhale, inhale coming forward, and inhale coming down, <sighs> exhale coming up. So nice little side steps here. You're having resistance on your abductors and adduction going in and out. And you're also having that resistance on your outsides while you're squatting forward and backwards. So you have a full 360 range of motion that's getting resistance. You're keeping a nice tight core. It's making a huge difference, believe it or not. The more that you can incorporate dynamically into your workout, the more efficiently that you can get results out of these movements. So this is our side step squat. And from here, we can go into just general abduc abduction, hip abductions. So I was gonna call them abduction lifts, but however you wanna call them, they're just nice little side leg raises. And I like to say you can hold on to the back of a chair or a wall, or you can keep both hands on your hips, whatever you feel. I always recommend if you can, keep both hands on your hips so you get a nice core stability workout with this as well. But we're starting with our feet shoulder width apart, and you're gonna lean all your weight onto one foot. From here, you're going to keep straight back, straight chest, forward gaze, core's nice and tight, nice exhale, and lift. Inhale as you come down, exhale, lift. You're gonna feel that in your glutes, your, your hips, all around your hips, hip flexors, and even some of your hamstrings and thighs, outer thighs here in the IT band. So, you also wanna make sure that you do the other side. And I always recommend if you're just starting off, just try to complete 10 repetitions. Make sure that you're doing this in a controlled movement. You can do things with power, 
but then control it on the way down. That's where you're going to get that negative resistance, and that's that's where these bands come into place over weights. You can also do these hip abductions laying down. So if you lay on your side, this is the classic type clamshell or you know aerobicized back in the 80s. We used to do these little leg lifts, but now you've got the resistance bands adding that extra resistance and giving you that extra workout in your hips and your glutes. So making sure you're exhaling as you do this. You also want to make sure that your glutes are tucked in so that your body is nice and aligned as you do this. And also make sure you do the other side. So next, uh, we're going to be doing some leg raises. You can do this either standing up, just like the hip abductions. You can hold on to something, stand up, raise the legs either forward or backwards, which I absolutely love doing the backwards. Tags your hamstrings and your glutes. We all like that, right? Keeping that core nice and tight. Lift. This one going backwards is going to be a small movement, but it's super effective and you'll feel it as soon as you give it a try. And you can also do straight up in front of you. I really like these ones too. But then you can also do them laying down, which is where I recommend that you start. So let's go ahead and move these down to the ankles if we're laying down. It's gonna give us a little bit more resistance, more leverage of the band. Make sure that those hips are on the ground and then exhale, lift the legs. Again, make sure you do the other side. And as you can see, with just one band, moving the positions, moving your position, you get a variety of different movements in a variety of range of motions. Lastly, we can go ahead and put these bands right back up on our thighs. This is gonna be an isometric use of the bands, keeping our feet about shoulder width apart, so we gotta keep our knees open. We're going to place both feet flat on the ground, and we're gonna lay back. Tuck those feet in nicely so that when you exhale, squeeze those glutes, lift the booty up, hips up. So you've got this nice bridge with the glute raise, or we call them bridge thrust. And you also have that nice isometric hold with the band. So you can either choose to stay here in this position for say 30, 60 seconds, or you can release it, come down with a big inhale and then exhale, squeeze at the top, raise them really high, and then inhale, come down and do your 10 repetitions here. Any of these you can do in repetition format or in hold format. So if you are in your hip abduction, you can sit here and just hold for 10 seconds if you want, just make sure everything's nice and upright and aligned. You're not, you know, sticking your hip out to the side. And just make sure you feel comfortable doing it. No sharp pains or pinching. You should feel a little bit of discomfort. It should be challenging, but it should be most of all really fun and feel really good for your body. So thank you so much for joining me here on this video for the upper body uh, using the Fit Nation resistance loop bands. I hope you got something out of it. And most of all, enjoy these little babies because they're an excellent piece of equipment to have. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.